the most emotional moments on the Drew Barrymore show. Number 5. During a tour of LA Drew Barrymore recently paid an emotional visit to the institution where she spent time as a teen. She showed viewers the doors where her mother dropped her off during her tour of Los Angeles for the season 2 premiere of the Drew Barrymore show. Drew said as she approached the institution, the place with all the barbed wire? Yeah, that's it. Drew talked about being a wild child through tears, and while she didn't seem to blame her mother for taking the drastic step of having her committed, it's still painful to remember that difficult time in her life. Drew was in the facility for about a year and a half. Looking back on those dark and agonizing days, the actress sobbed and revealed that she felt she would never have a successful, happy life. Drew also discussed why she believes it is so important to share her experience with her viewers. She said, There's an elegance, hopefully, to the Drew Barrymore show. She then added, But I will never lose sight of this part of my story. Drew described living in the facility as hitting rock bottom. Once she got out, she reinvented her life. Drew can now look back on the experience with gratitude, despite how difficult it was. Number 4. Telling Kristen Davis How Much Sex in the City Means to Her Drew Barrymore gushed about Sex and the City on her show with star Kristen Davis. When Kristen Davis appeared on the Drew Barrymore show to discuss the Sex and the City sequel, and just like that, Barrymore mentioned how much the series meant to her. She admitted, I am so honored that you would be here. You've been such a part of our lives. I don't know what a lot of my life would be without it. It's so much more than a show. She then added, It's our growing up, it's our development, it's our cultural references. I will quote the show every day of my life. Davis was moved by the words and revealed that she had no idea the show would have such a cultural impact. The show became emotional as she described how the audience grew to care about the characters on the show. Drew said, I mean these friends that were made, to be told as women that your girlfriends are everything, that your friendships are your family, are the what if I had never met you guys moment. I said that to my friend. She then added, we all have made those mistakes. We learned alongside of you not to be pushy, to let go and... Number 3. Communicating with Departed Loved Ones Drew Barrymore had no idea what was about to happen when she spoke to a psychic on her daytime talk show. The medium, who claims to be able to communicate with the dead, relayed messages from a relative who had died, according to Barrymore. But as it turns out, they're still alive. Psychic Anna Raimondi performed a reading for Barrymore and claimed to be receiving messages from a judge. The Charlie's Angels star immediately burst into tears, identifying the judge as David, her ex-husband, Will Copelman's uncle, whom she claimed was deceased. The psychic wheedled more information from an emotional Barrymore telling her that you are a part of that family. It doesn't matter that the two of you are not together anymore. It appeared to be a sweet and touching moment, but Judge David Copelman is fine and well living in Boston. However, Will Copelman, who divorced Barrymore after four years of marriage in 2016, told Page Six that the psychic was a hack. He went on to condemn the medium for preying on emotional people, saying, None of my dead relatives, all of whom I'm sure would have really liked Drew, are speaking with some submental hack working the talk show circuit. This, I assure you. Number 2. When David Letterman Surprised Her Letterman is one of many guests on a special episode of The Drew Barrymore Show, which will air on Barrymore's 46th birthday. Letterman appears to be zooming in to greet the host, who sits chatting with today's Savannah Guthrie in a special preview clip released. I'm not a cat, Letterman says before complaining about how difficult it is to hear the women due to a bad connection. Soon after, the star, who appears to be frustrated, abruptly exits the scene. A few beats later, Letterman emerges from backstage to personally greet a stunned Barrymore on her birthday. After bursting into tears, Barrymore replies, I'm so grateful that you came here. Number 1. When Steven Spielberg Surprised Her Drew got another birthday surprise during the show when Steven Spielberg appeared as a guest after she played a childhood video of herself discussing working on E.T. with him. Drew Barrymore finally burst into tears when Steven Spielberg surprised her via video call. Drew face, I still care about you. I've always cared about you, Steven Spielberg said on the Drew Barrymore show. Furthermore, the critically acclaimed director recalled Drew walking in for auditions as a child actor. He said, This little blonde hurricane walked into an audition in my office and took us by storm, and then soon took the entire world by storm. During the interactive session, Drew Barrymore's 1995 Playboy spread was brought up and it was revealed that after the shoot, Spielberg sent her a quilt with the words cover up. Talking about the same, Stephen said, I sent her the Playboy layout and I had an artist come over and do paper doll cutout clothes, which I glued onto all of the partially exposed photographs. 
Drew went on to say that she later sent the director an apology in the form of a series of photos of herself dressed as a nun, which she showed to the audience. 